Hey, good evening, guys. Kind of Tortoise Capital Nightly Strategy Podcast for Sunday, October 22nd, 2022. Thank you for your patience. Today was our last day of uh, soccer for the fall, and uh, we had, had a late one at the field. So just got back. Right, let's uh, go ahead and get started with uh, here's a, uh, a leftover uh, report from Friday from Woj. Let's uh, get his, take a quick look at his work. Um, XRP, he, started, he starts trading here. He gets the, he gets the initial short and uh, quick loss. Nice re-entry and recovery, but he gets a scratch. There was a SSC here and a Kata 2 here that were both, that were both tradable. Uh, Solana starts trading here, gets the, uh, this is a Kata 2 short, because you have the lower highs, and the breaking of the dragon, so you could consider that either a Kata 2 or, uh, or a CD. You get the PSAR flip, he gets paid, re-entry gets paid, uh, there was another, uh, obviously, leg here that was available, and an SSC that was available there, but he brings in 3.5. Um, some for the day was three and a half. He had a 30-hour week this week, so well done. All right, let's look at the uh, sector Z scores. This is the uh, RL30 slope Z score for the market which uh, bottomed out here almost at minus two sigma. Um, you can see that the, the S&P is large up, um, is approaching the zero line. Uh, energy is in the lead with a nice clear victory. Finance, then tech, uh, then material. So that's, that's the important one right there is XLF is uh, is the rotational sector leading the way along with energy. So we're going to keep an eye on J.P. Morgan and uh, Goldman Sachs. Uh, that's a healthy recovery. Tradable rebound right now. All right, we're comparing now the Z-scores between XLY, the consumer discretionary, and XLP, consumer staples uh, the market makes that nice turn uh, staples are better than XLY um, in terms of actual slope and then the recovery in XLP is uh, is amazing uh, the consumer discretionary did not sell off much staples really did so the uh, so that rebound there is quite extraordinary um, so everything looks healthy in the in the market short term for continued momentum. All right, let's go through Ken H's series of swings here. Uh, first one, Exxon Mobil. Uh, we're just noticing how the energy sector, on the weekly basis, has been extraordinarily volatile. Um, and here's the big breakout to the upside. That's one of the reasons why XLE uh, has been so good. Right, um, Ken H has been crushing this. Uh, he tries the he tries a uh, Z three P breakout here. There was a gap, so he gets the sh the long um, micro loss here. Gets the uh, gets the Kata two entry short. Smashes that one for a win to there. Uh, here's a that's a stop and reverse exit. You can see this one. That's a, a gift. Exit, stop, and reverse with the SSC. There was an opportunity for a, a second position here. I think when this was defeated, there was an opportunity for a second position there. If you come up here to the, uh, to the top of the dragon, there was one here. He gets the second position here just in time to have that rollover. So... Uh, he takes takes a, uh, a loss on this piece, but gets paid 
on that one has a re-entry here at the uh, at the emerging dragon well, which is a conservative but safe way to play that and now he's well in the money on that breakout so um, and that's like an all-time high so that feels pretty good um, I would have yeah I, I like the exit like right about here so that you lock in I want you to lock in that much and then now you're giving it room to go so great looking trade Schlumberger he just picked that to make me say the word uh, and he's looking again at that same energy this is an energy services company uh, they broken out to the all-time high um, so there was an SSC available here caught a two available here or here another caught a two available there uh, but he's playing he's framing this as a breakout uh, that if oil and energy continues its great work Schlumberger who sells you know shovels to gold miners essentially uh, should continue to do well that's a nice way to do uh, a breakout trade um, in the energy sector part of a fireworks trade uh, here's Nucor in the steels yeah, again we love steels for the way they they trade on a cycling basis so here it is on the with the strong bottoms and we're only halfway to the uh, uh, to the top so you got a strong move in either direction on the weekly um, you can see that he played this one wonderfully here on the SSC reversal he gets he gets that one the second position here breaks even he gets a lower high collapsing dragon was available here he gets it here second position uh, he looked at these two as opportunities for third position so that's short short opportunity opportunity resisted takes the exit on the on the kata two which is a stop and reverse so he gets paid on that trade and that trade stop and reverse on this trade um, and is now uh, re-entered here took this one on Friday and is good to go uh, and is now was postured f he's posturing this trade in this way no overnight risk uh, he's ready to play a continuation pattern out of this out of that region which is here that looks man that is such a good series holy mackerel uh, I don't blame you for taking that for taking that win that's been such a roller coaster in the steels that uh, um, hard to see hard to see that and then let it and then let it slip away I like getting paid uh, Freeport Moran uh, this one was um, in a 10% a trade here this little uh, move from here to there in one day was a 10% gain uh, postured at the top of his 10-day chart here ready for a breakout this has been solid resistance <coughs> so if this breaks out there's hardly any resistance there at all I might call that a little bit of resistance not much around 36 38 41 but really it has left all the chop behind and this move is ready to break out to the upside and then if it fails coming back to 27 is kind of a no-brainer so you've got a strong move in either direction uh, that's a great that's a great setup just I mean look at the size when that thing decides to go whew, amazing <coughs> Uh, the cues have been amazing traders as well here was his short he looked hard at the at taking the exit here 
uh, held on to it through all of this. Finally, finally took that. Well, you know, there was every reason to believe that there was more of this coming, but uh, I'm with you. That's, uh, I would take that one as, look, you gave it plenty of opportunity to fail further. There was lots of reasons to believe this thing could fail. And, and what you gave back was instead of taking it here, you took it there. Hey, you're still in the money. This thing is um, in the bottom quarter of its 30-day move right here. So, yeah, there's three to the upside still against one unit of risk. And uh, you still got paid, and you gave it an opportunity to go. But next time, next time get paid a little bit more. Uh, I like this one in both directions. Um, if we get this breakout, so if we're using that as the risk, risk box, you know, uh, you're going to get long here because you will have left all of that behind. And it has to get through 282, which you could do in one day. And, but then if it fails... You know, I think it comes all the way back here to 262. So you have a nice zero state here, ready to go in either direction. Uh, clear the deck and trade trade hard. Uh, advanced micro. Uh, the semis have been have been getting smashed, but now stabilizing in the bottom here. Uh, boy, you can just see that PSR flip. Whoa. Second leg down. He gets it short here. Still holding it short. Uh, I'd be ready to scratch that one here and add a second position if it breaks down below here. Um, I, I really like the opportunity to the upside, so don't stick around much longer on that one. Redfin Corporation is a real estate company. Boy, don't you love the, don't you love the CD? Uh, there's, there's a unit that is short. From here, um, I like the. I think I like the stop at $4.50. Uh, I like adding if it goes below 375. In fact, I might even I might even bring that stop from here. There's your entry instead of here. I might if you wanted to be aggressive, put your stop there so you can capture that whole move. Depends how much you know how much you want to hold on to that one. Um, I think I'd be inclined to cover that one. Uh, earlier rather than later. It feels like all the easy money's been squeezed out of that. Uh, Coinbase. We've got a uh, range compression and a solid support level being held here. So if this breaks to the downside, that's this, um, you could have a second position on. That's what he's... He's showing a tight wrist box here in a zero state. So if that breaks to the downside, one position, and then breaks below 62, add a second position, and then this thing could really collapse. Yeah, that that descending wedge really looks like it could go. On the other hand, um, the last this this has been strong and stable support. So the upside break, you see this getting to 71 very easily. Um, and then 75. So really, I think if it gets if it gets to the upside here in your long, and it gets to 71, you put a second position on, and then a third position here. You know, from the glory from the glory days of Coinbase, remember that's 350. And now we're talking at 60, so that's still minus, uh, 
minus 85 percent from the glory days and this is probably the the baseline baseline support at 50. the fact that it hasn't fallen further says i think folks are fighting to defend this so this a breakout from here feels natural and then at second position above yeah above 80. I like it. JP Morgan, this is part of that strength in finance that we saw. Um, this feels like two support levels. Uh, this is why finance is leading the way. Zero state to the upside. Again, if it breaks above 125 or 124, then I think you add a second position. Uh, the breakdown here from here tracks to 116 pretty quickly. If that breaks, you know, this is not resistance until you get to about here at 108. So there's two, that's a, a second position there, a third position short here, um, and that's a big move. I like the uh, consolidation. It did not fail and come back all the way. So this feels like the s start of a second leg. So that's why I think you can add or enter uh, on that breakout there. That's a continuation trade. Uh, Pfizer. Just noticing all of the collapsing dragons all the way down. Uh, but it feels like that has has now cleared all of that mess, and now here's the target for the next move up is 46 and a quarter. So if that's your zero state in a breakout box, it's a buck and a quarter. You got a strong move in either direction, ready to go. I like the trade. Great frame. Easy to easy to believe in the upside on that one. Uh, Catalyst Pharmaceuticals. Uh, on the weekly, we got sort of a Cata 2 action going on. And then on the weekly basis, we know if that gets above 15, that, that, can, really, that can really stretch and go. So I like this little consolidation with rising lows. So a breakout from 1340, that's not resistance. Uh, that's just downward momentum. So the first time that it hits resistance is right at 15. So you have a tactical trade here. And then if that breaks out above 15, you add a second position. And now off you go. And again, if that gets above this whole level, it leaves all of that behind. And that is not resistance whatsoever. That move to 50, this could be the big winner uh, on that breakout. That's a vacuum that's getting ready to move through. And that's what solid support looks like with rising lows. And now a breakout. Mm. Uh, Verizon. Yeah, here's one trade in the <clears throat> for the win. It should be taking that exit right about here is what I'm thinking. And just put a lid on that one. So you lock in. I want you to lock in that gain. Uh, because this is now an SSC and ready to reverse, you don't want to stick around any longer. You want to keep respecting that entry. But then again, the breakdown... Um, Uh, you can pile on. I like that one. Sienna Corporation Technology Sector, Camo Equipments. 
Uh, this is a nice consolidation zone in here. Breakout box ready to, to I think, at least get to here. Uh, if it can clear that resistance, you could put a second position here. And then that's not resistance. That is just falling momentum. This is the first place you would see resistance at 52. So, you, man, you got, a, you got almost a $10 move from 43 to here. Uh, and then the, the breakdown to 40 or, or 39 is, is clear as well. Boy, that's just ready to go. If that breaks out and goes, uh, look out above. By the same token, if we start getting a uh, sell-off day on, on Monday and this starts failing, you want to be short from here, adding a second position here, and then a third position here. Boy, that's postured to really go well. I think the upside on that one uh, is nice, given that strength and tech that we saw. Uh, tenant Healthcare, this is a sell-off on earnings uh, from this consolidation. It was already in a downward spiral, and then this broke and then closed poorly. So this is simply the long-term target around 54 to get, to get back to. So if this holds, uh, that move up into here is large, so you just take half of that and say, hey, 46 on the first leg if it if it does that then you can see that it feels like it's trying to close the gap so I would put a second position on at 46 and then if it fails further just pile onto that beast and uh, push it down uh, Albertsons in retail Here's a, that's our target area around 27. Here was the sell-off. And, and the recovery has already started. So now, again, this is the same. If you take this 2550 as the target to the upside, and it's trying to close that gap, that's a $4 gap um, on a, you know, maybe 50 cent risk. And then if it fails further, you just pile on. But... To me, that looks like uh, it's got a um, that exaggerated move from 29 to 21. That's a 30% loss. Uh, it feels like that could be a deep value play on an overreaction kind of a trade. I like it. That's a Godzilla in action. And it's the same thing in Snap. Um, again, these last three have been sort of the, that same Godzilla-like response to a big gap down and then stabilizing so this held it it failed to fail further and now you could watch this thing climb back up to 11 so again your first target is nine nice psychological round number this is where i'd add a second position and uh i think that's everything is this the last one yeah that was back to watch all right that's everything we got for tonight great set of uh frames and setups you can see how he routinely is farming his favorites and now using the godzilla and the uh, fireworks trades to find uh, very interesting setups so nice work ken h thanks a lot for your patience guys uh we'll see the creativity 202 guys in the morning from euroland and then monday night uh for the u.s sectors okay take good care and we shall see you tomorrow